You are the leaders. As students, you gave generously of your time, energy, and expertise to create and sustain incredible experiences and support for your fellow students. Now, after all of your hard work and persistence, you will walk across the stage towards a new beginning and a new opportunity to shape the world around you. The graduation cords you are about to receive have two significant and important meanings. First, the light blue color represents the exceptional leadership and service you have individually demonstrated during your time at Boise State. The dark blue color signifies Boise State's shared values of fairness, respect, academic excellence, trustworthiness, responsibility, citizenship, and caring. These values are a critical part of what it means to be a Bronco. They should manifest into the words you speak and the actions you take as a Boise State alum for the rest of your life. I invite you to ground yourself in them in pursuit of a better world. As you move forward to the next chapter, remember the hard work and perseverance that served you well here. Remember that to be bold is to be a Bronco. Pursue your passions and take initiative. And finally, don't forget that your future is bright, so look forward with confidence. Please join me in a heartfelt thank you to the family and friends who supported your journey over these past few years. With community, indeed, we are all stronger. Congratulations, graduates, on this momentous accomplishment. You are the leaders. Go lead. Hello, my name is Selena Sanchez, and I'm a graduating student leader. I would like to begin by congratulating my fellow student leaders on their accomplishments, as well as thanking the Boise State faculty and staff for their dedication to our education. As a first-generation Latino college student, I never would have imagined I would have the honor to speak to you all today regarding leadership, so thank you. With that being said, when I was back in grade school, I was a pleasure to have in class, but I also had a problem with distracting other students. And I can't tell you how many times I was actually sent to refocus, but I can definitely tell you that five minutes is a very long time when you're young. You see, I would get in trouble for conversing with my peers. And as my professors can attest, I still do that. However, today, when I'm conversing with my peers, I often find us discussing important matters, such as the current state of our world. And as we are navigating our own lives, we must also deal with the fragility of our current world. With the global pandemic, civic unrest, and impending climate crisis, these events have filled our newsfeed and captured our attention. It is up to people like us, graduating student leaders, to guide our world to a better place. Like many of you, I began my leadership journey here at Boise State. Through my various leadership experiences, I have developed a greater understanding of what it means to be a leader. I have learned that leading that leadership is not defined by the action of leading, but rather the principle of guiding others to reach their full potential. I have learned that becoming a leader requires guiding others with empathy, respect, patience, commitment, and passion. I have also learned that great leaders are both allies and advocators. I was first introduced to the concept of leading with empathy in my criminal justice studies. I had learned about the injustices and inequalities that many Americans face. I also learned that criminality is heavily determined by one's environment. After digesting semesters worth of information and statistics regarding the unjust system, I became painfully aware of the lack of empathy in our society. My criminal justice education instilled in me the desire to become an empathetic leader of change. I developed my capacity for empathy by educating myself on the histories and experiences of others. In doing so, I have become much more respectful of others. During my time at Boise State, I was an orientation leader as well. It was during this position that I actually learned the value of patience. We were tasked with welcoming nearly 3,000 new students amidst a global pandemic. With new information coming out each day and involving safety guidelines, we were unsure if the fall semester would even be in person. With each orientation session, we had parents and students asking us whether Boise State had made a decision to go online or not for classes. Many of my students were tell me that they wouldn't even attend Boise State if it were. And without a lot of, lot of hope and a lot of patience, we would not have been able to welcome one of the largest classes in Boise State history. My commitment to leadership has remained constant also, despite losing every single executive election in my sorority for three years in a row. I was motivated though to work even harder to embody what it means to become a great leader. 
I was eventually elected, and as the inaugural director of diversity, equity, and inclusion, I remained committed to this position by educating myself on DEI. And my diversity, equity, and inclusion education and this position enlightened me on how to become a more fair and inclusive leader. I learned that in order to become a good leader, I must first confront my own implicit biases. I am now aware of my biases and how they affect how I view people and how I treat them as well. My various other leadership roles have aided me in becoming a better ally and advocate. I learned that it is not the responsibility of others to educate us, but rather our civic duty to educate ourselves and advocate for others. During my time as a legislative intern for an Idaho state representative, I learned the value of advocacy. We met with constituents, informed them on state house matters, as well as listened to their concerns. Getting out into the community and talking with constituents reminded me how important local politics are in our everyday life. During my time in this role, I also participated in several grassroots protests and projects. I had the opportunity to speak up on the steps of the Idaho State Capitol. Although it was very intimidating at first, it was fulfilling to participate and to stand up for what I know is right. Empathy, respect, patience, commitment, and passion are several of the most important leadership qualities I have obtained at Boise State University. Although my chatty nature has gotten me into trouble in my youth, it has actually helped me become a more well-rounded individual. I have learned to value and respect others' experiences and opinions and become a better ally and advocate. As we enter the workforce during a time of great uncertainty, I urge my fellow graduating student leaders to answer the call to serve. We are the future of society, and we must do our part to lead our world to a more equitable and just place. We must use our education and leadership experiences here that we learned at Boise State to educate and serve our communities. Our time at Boise State might be coming to an end, but we will forever remain bonded through our shared values of academic excellence, care, citizenship, fairness, respect, and responsibility. As I leave you today to celebrate our achievements, I would like to further congratulate those of you who have experienced hardship and loss during your time here. Your dedication to your education will not go unnoticed. I would also like to further congratulate my fellow women of leadership and first-generation college graduates. Becoming a leader is not simply a bullet point on one's resume, but rather an achievement signifying years of evolution and transformation of an individual into the best version of themselves. Thank you so much and go Broncos. Alex Watt. Anita Sulich. Asia Kernin. Belinda Martins. Brooke Torquato. Brooke Blow. Zaludio 
Kristen Horde. David Lund Denise Hutchins Emily Harrison Emily Renee Hester Emily Treadway Emily White Gia Strong Gina Ciccarelli Grace Elaine Ward Grayson McCroskey Haley Wren Hunt Isaiah Christie Jason Mays Jenna Sheldon Jessica Peterson
Julie Julison. Cassandra Simmons. Kayla Caton. Shama Lakshmi Ranganata. Landon Ray Lebowski. Luke Henches. Madison Jones. Manuel Epina Tarango Garcia. Max Ledesma. Meredith Covey. Paige Ragno. Paisley Meadow Davis. Patricia Anne Marie Goodwin. Rolando Jesus Gonzalez. Sarah Gores. (laughs) 
Selena Sanchez. Shaney Krentz. Stephanie Crable. Sydney Ames Zach Dawkins Zara Nasser Congratulations, Broncos. You did it. Whether you expected to be here or not, Today is a big, big day for you, and I know that getting here wasn't easy. In fact, only 6.7% of people in the world have a college degree, so for that, you deserve some major recognition. And know that as you graduate from Boise State, we have some increased expectations of you, and some, we know that you're going to take on some added responsibility after you graduate. I know that you're up for it. I saw many of you enter in your first year on campus, and I know that you've changed in some really meaningful ways. You've also changed Boise State. You've made it a better place for everyone here, better for our whole community. So thank you for that. I know that you're gonna to continue to grow after you graduate and you'll make the world a better place as well. So today we celebrate you. And at the same time, I want you to take a moment today to think about all those in your life that made it possible for you to get here to this point. Take time to think about the teachers, parents, family members, friends, scholarship donors, everyone that was there for you along the way that helped you in your journey to graduation. None of us makes it this far without a little bit of help. So take time in your life today or sometime soon to say thank you to those individuals. And finally, once again, congratulations and go Broncos.